I want to make a dinosaur with a round body, long tail and neck, and three spines on its back. Creating all of this from scratch would be difficult, so I'll instead use a ball as a base, then add material where needed to shape the dinosaur. To start, I'll click the Shapes button and add a ball to the project. This will serve as the rough body for the dinosaur, and the first change I'll make to it is to add a tail. I'll select the middle face on the back of the ball and pull it out and down to start the shape of the tail. With the face still selected, I'll hold down Control and pull out on the drag handle to add material. I'll switch to the rotation controls and rotate the face down with the red circle, then add one final piece of material that I'll pull up and away so the tail thins toward the end. Next, I'll add the feet and spines, and to help speed up the process, I'll add a mirror through the middle of the dinosaur that will copy whatever is done on one side of the mirror line to the other. I'll click the top middle edge of the tail and click Mirror from the toolbar to add the mirror to the body. To add the feet, I'll simply select one of the bottom corner faces, hold Control, and use the blue drag handle to pull it down and add material at that face. Since there is a mirror enabled, an exact copy of the leg is added to the other side of the body. I'll add a second pair of legs by adding material once again, and I'm ready to move on to the spines. I'll move up to look at the top of the body and select the top middle face. It's currently wider than I want for the spine, so I'll first split it, then use the outer face of the split to make the spine. I'll select it, and this time add the material by selecting the Add button on the toolbar. I'll repeat the steps to add a spine to both the left and right top faces. Then move around to look at the front so I can add the neck and head. I'll select the two top faces just beneath the mirror line, hold down Control, and pull up to add the first material to the neck. I'll move the new face up and out, then hold down Control once again and add a second block of material to the neck. I'll move it out and rotate it slightly, then add one final segment and move it into place to finish the neck. The final step then is to create the head, which I'll do by adding material twice. For the first add, I'll keep the same two faces selected, hold Control and pull them out. This time, however, I'll keep the section smaller and pull it more upward to get a flatter front that I can place the eye stickers on in the Stylet app. To add the rest of the head, I'll select the two faces under the eyes and pull them out. I'll keep the section small then split both of the front faces at once from the toolbar to help form the mouth. To add the mouth itself, I'll split the faces once more, then simply move the two middle faces back into the head. Before I move on to styling the dinosaur, I want to give its mouth some expression. So I'll select the top middle point inside the mouth and pull it down and out to give it a smile. With that, I'm done, and the dinosaur is ready to be styled.